Hi, I'm Alex Archbull. I've been buying and selling antiques since I was a kid. Over the years, generations of our family have gotten involved in the business, and I'll search just about anywhere I can to find hidden treasures both big and small. I never know what I'll turn up next. It's about exploring new places, seeing new sights, and having fun. And even though sometimes I get over my head, we try and make things a little better along the way. This is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode. Well, last episode, or last week, I guess I should say, um, I went out to a house that had been formally hoarded, although the people that own the house have cleaned out most of it. Um, there's still a lot of stuff left, and some things that I didn't buy last time that I thought, well, maybe I should go back for. Um, mainly, I bought that little motorcycle, the dirt bike in the garage, so I gotta get in the truck today and take that um, so I can load it up. But we're gonna do another search for some vintage clothes, because uh, in retrospect, I shouldn't have left all those vintage Levi's and all that other stuff behind. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes it's overwhelming even for me, but we're going to make up for it. We're going to hit the road in the truck, go get the motorcycle, go get some more clothes and see what else we can find. So follow along on today's episode as we search through a formerly hoarded house again and see what treasures we can find. Let's go. Well, the traffic is just terrible. It's like a parking lot here, but that's okay because Melissa came for a ride. Hi, everyone. <laughs> what was that look? I was going to go... Oh, like you were sleeping? Yeah. Well, I've got company with me. <laughs> I guess I need to do more entertaining. I'm company? I'll be all jazzed. I'll just start swerving in and out of traffic no. on the way. <laughs> okay, so you want me to help you move anything out of the way first? Um, so well, I'll hand more. you the table maybe. Okay, sure. We'll get some of the bigger things out of the way. And uh, I think the goal today is going to be uh, motorcycle, number one. Yeah. And... Uh, and then we'll have a look and see if there's any, oh look, I'm like a squirrel. Ferrari posters, a Lamborghini poster. Hey, Garfield's coming back actually. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they're doing a new oh, Garfield, geez. but it's Chris uh, Pratt is the voice of Garfield. I remember having Garfield as a kid and we didn't have like the cartoon right away. So then when, when you finally heard Garfield's voice and it's on a cartoon, it was totally different than what I imagined. It was so weird. Which is like, funny because the guy that did the voice of Garfield was the yeah. same guy that did one of the voices of a Ghostbuster on the real Ghostbusters. Oh, that's hilarious. But he sounds like Bill Murray. And then they cast Bill Murray as Garfield. <laughs> um, but the only reason Bill Murray did the Garfield thing is because he thought it was a Coen Brothers movie. But oh, the guy shared the same name as one of the Coen Brothers. And he's like, weird, they're doing Garfield? Well, it's probably going to be art. And then he did it and it wasn't them. It was a different guy with the same name. I just remembered where these might have come from. They were probably from one of my dad's classrooms back in his teaching days. So oh! He probably had them all over the wall. I was inspired like, by teachers that had this type of stuff on yeah. the wall. You know, like, <laughs> they had the one that was Achieve, and it was like multiple garage doors open with fancy cars. Yeah, And I was exactly. sitting there yeah, someday. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to set these over here. One more. Well, were you selling some rims just now? Yeah, I got rid of some car rims with some old rubber on them. Yeah, they were a specific type that the guy was looking for, so if we were both happy about that. Did this thing have a key, by the way? I don't believe so. No, it's just like that. Why? That's why you wouldn't want to park it outside without having like a chain across the tires. Well, sometimes or sometimes like a guy a, would remove a spark plug so no one could start it. But yeah. okay. Uh, any luck with any manuals or paperwork or anything, or no? Uh, I didn't find anything, but I don't know if there might not be. Um, uh, like any type of manual like underneath the, the number plate up front That's like funny. where that tool kit's hidden little fire hat <laughs> kids fire chief helmet uh okay well it's rolling that's a good sign and i think the tires are still holding air so it's not a real big bike which is good because it'll oh, hopefully there. roll up the ramp real easy. Did you ever ride it? Oh yeah, a lot of pink here. <laughs> I've, I've crowned myself getting it out this morning. <laughs> All right, back we go. Do you need shelf. some help? No, I got it. I just got to get kind of turned around and then I can push the proper way. Okay, well there she is in all her <laughs> dusty glory. Yeah, we had fun on that. I ordered a carb kit for it. So I'm gonna rebuild the carbs and see if I can't make this thing go. It's showing 12 and a half kilometers on it. I'm guessing there's more than that, but 
Yeah, I don't know what that odor went to. I think it only went like to a honey or something. Right, and then reset. <laughs> but the plastics look good and everything. Can I ask a silly favor? Or sure. maybe once we're out front? Yeah. I just want to get a picture of me sitting on it one last time for my little guy. That's fine. You're going to de-dust part of the seat for me? That's great. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> You'll yeah. to wiggle around on there a bit. Maybe I'll find something to wipe it off with. Here, this will work. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. I'll test the suspension for you. Okay, pop back in the garage to have a look and see if the mirror might be on one of these shelves. Look at this old Tonka trucks down there. Didn't even see those last time because there was so much stuff in here. Those will last forever. Might have to chat about that in a sec, but right now I'm on the uh, mission for a mirror. And honestly, it's hard to say. Oh, there's a wire wheel hubcap off of something, arrows. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Fishing rod, it's got the reel on it still. Gosh, it's easy to get distracted. Okay. Well, if there's no mirror, that's okay. And you said you, you weren't sure if there was a mirror with it anyway. So. Yeah, I was pretty sure that we never bothered putting one on there. We oh, were yeah. just riding it willy-nilly dirt style. So Don't forget those. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, let's head in the house and see if we can do a little damage in there. No problem. I'm just going to close this up. I'll be right there. Please. So, Melissa has not been here before, um, but what we're going to look for... Those are a little bit newer, but around the corner, I think, is where the master bedroom was. And, oh, I should talk to them about this, this mid-century clock on the wall. That's a, that's a good piece. And I didn't even look in the showcase over there before, too. So we'll do a little walk around and see if we can make a second pile today. There she is with the folding bins. We'll just put it on the table over there. And those are kind of funky... Uh, coffee mugs actually it looks like the whole set's there i, I don't, don't know if those are also corel there's also stuff in here that's like the classic corel mm. mayot england oh they're english Got but... a lot of meals on those <laughs> mm. dead bugs come free no, dust and bugs are complimentary he said last time absolutely yeah for sure yeah we'll round those up to do genetic study Okay, it was in this room and I moved this giant pile of jeans and I'm going to move those onto the Alex is interested in pile today. So I'm going to pick those up. I probably won't buy the uh, old undies that are there. I'm just going to bury those oh, like... Darn. Yeah, those could go in the fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> see ghosts come out of them. Woo! Oh, PV shirt's kind of cool. Okay, I got to make a pile of to keep. Is that a hat? Oh no. <laughs> it's like a round. I'm like, I don't know how it's a tree skirt. Like flowery, a tree skirt. Yeah. Look like a flowery wizard hat. <laughs> yeah, there's wizardry behind some of those fashions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it would be weird to me if I looked back at my photo album and saw all the crazy old pictures that, of clothes that we had and then we oh, still had them. This book is like 65 years old. Out of what is this? It's funky fabric. It looks like it's a sheet or something, but constellations. This is like an old encyclopedia. I'm sure that's all up to date info. Yeah, there's most of the clothes are in the basement. This stuff up here would be what remnants of you and your brothers. Yeah. I don't even know what was like really piled in there. Like we. Like this, this would have been stuff my mom chucked there, like after we were, like well after we moved out of the house. So. Right. What is this? The Super Cities Walk for MS. Oh, that was probably mine. Yeah, from like doing like a fundraiser walk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't even really sorted all the last stuff I bought from you. We just put it on a table and walked away. But, um,. Yeah, I thought, you know, there's so much stuff that I just kind of walked past last time, like the stuff I'm looking at right now, where you don't know if there's going to be a couple things in there worth saving. And to somebody who's uh, working in the film industry and they need these type of clothes for doing a retro show or something, Notre Dame, Cougar Classic. It's too bad it's all ripped up. Have you searched this pile yet yourself? No, I have not. <laughs> okay. Guilty as charged. I'm getting down to a layer where there might have been mice, so I'm going to be uh, 
I think we'll leave that. Uh, but there are some jeans here. And I think in the in your parents' closet there were still jeans. Yeah, these I think still have the tag on them too. They're not that old. These are uh, George, so those are Superstore, but that's probably not quite as old. Okay, keep on looking. You can turn off now. It is kind of nice having you with me because usually I don't have somebody else to film. Normally it's like first person, uh, which I guess it'll have to be again because otherwise they can't see what the heck I'm doing up here. So I guess I'll take over. <laughs> All right, here's the Alexander view from up top. Just having a look through some of the boxes. This stuff's been up here a while. The layer of dust that is on top of stuff. We have... Um, looks like this is cologne and perfume. Might not still be. It's still in there. <laughs> Roman Brio aftershave. That means your dad saw this and went, hmm, I wonder what a Roman smelled like. <laughs> and it looked like, uh... Rock in the bend, her. The... <laughs> oh, these are lights to something. Could have been accessories from the Roman stuff oh maybe sure. we got some board games up here this game is bonkers we've got uh what is that one i might actually ooh, there's a ouija board up there too woo -woo -woo. yeah i'll hand this box down oh see i'm kind of glad that i came up here there's actually yeah there's some the uh, old model kits and toys and stuff which is up my alley so i'm gonna bring this box down Yahtzee, literally, Yahtzee. Yeah, well, I guess it pays to have a second look. We got a Yogi Bear game, Pluto's Lost Bones. You got this horror makeup kit from the 70s and Battlestar Galactica, Wonder Woman puzzle, R2-D2 original model kit. So a few neat things, keep on looking. How old is that? Mice made short work on the side of that, but heck, that's an old Aunt Jemima pancake. And even the, the syrup has been here so long that it's old time and it really is old time now. Still looks syrupy though. I don't know why seeing old bottles of things and that that have been sitting around that long is kind of fascinating. You only get those situations when you're in a house that was quasi hoarded like this, like a little kid's fire chief hat. Hmm, that's neat. But I don't know if that was set over there for a reason. That might be stuff that they're taking, so I don't want to pull out of the pile that's going to be theirs. But, yeah, but well, uh, my, I, uh, I won't be able to head over to my partner's place till probably around mm, 8. 15 or 8 30 or so okay i'm really on your time i appreciate that you guys came down here well i'll try and be quick there's a uh, for those watching and wondering what we're talking about there's a uh, <laughs> hockey game leading up to the uh, stanley cup playoffs tonight and he's a fan that's eh, different may as well i assure you that was not mine <laughs> <laughs> well okay there's this website <laughs> I'm just looking because it seems like every time I thought it was a white shirt, it was that your mom was actually covering up the thing she thought was better underneath. What was with plaid? Like so many white shirts with like, <laughs> like, like red or blue, like checker designs. It was just... Oh, it was just the style. It was like, there was so many shirts that looked like tablecloths and those kind of <laughs> Well, there's also these funky 70s coats and stuff too. Yeah, my mom liked to wear that one. Yeah, you said... Because all of her stuff is probably what size, lady size small, I would think, or medium. Yeah, she wasn't a very big lady. She was kind of cute. So. But some of this stuff, like, probably been in there since that was current. And you're not going to see those patterns again. I have no idea if somebody's going to be interested in it. But oh, I'll pick that up. That's kind of funky. Oh, it was just a hanger. No worries. Okay. That looks like a little kid dress, almost. It is for sure. And it still has the tag on it. $5 on sale. Never got worn. Well, new old stock little girl's dress. <laughs> I wonder if it was hers from like the 60s 
What year was your mom born? She was born in 42. Oh, 42. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, she would have been a young, active woman in the 60s, which explains why some of the closer of that era. I'm going to come in behind you no, no, bro. and have a peek in the in the room here. Now, this would have been some of your dad's stuff, I'm guessing. and Yeah. Yeah. And some of your mom's mix. And it's hard to tell whether the clothes that are on this, you'd think they'd be more current because they're more accessible, but... Yeah, that's, that's it's so interesting you point that out. I was thinking that. Like, if it was hanging out and it's accessible, but... But it's not, not necessarily. It's yeah, like I see. It's extension of the closet. Kind that's of been there since 1988. Ties, neckties, puffy vests. Yeah, those kind of vests. M Marty McFly vests. Oh, that's exactly what it reminded me of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, these jeans I saw last time, and they were still... They're new. Do you want to grab those, Mel? Just careful, because they're a little dirty. And this looks like one of those sort of workwear jean jackets. It's, and it's definitely been used with the wool kind of inside. Oh, yeah. Like your, uh, it's a Wrangler. That's a, that's definitely a farmer coat, that is. I'm just going to set that over here, except I'm just peeking at the back. The zippo still in my pocket. <laughs> uh, did you lose a Zippo? <laughs> no, I probably dumped that over there. Uh, it's different. It's like a little belted top. It's dusty, but it's kind of cool. You okay, Melissa? Yeah. This isn't, uh, <laughs> I'm the only one sneezing so far. 70s suit jacket. I was gardening when that wind picked up earlier. That was, that was a problem. Really. Oh, my Southwest that much, and there was some crazy clouds today. It was, yeah. It really picked up fast. Okay. Kind of a Western style coat. I'm plugging along okay though. Chevron survived the turnaround 94. That was uh, probably an electrical shutdown that my brother worked on. Oh, okay. And uh, once in a while, I guess they would make up a t shirt for like large operations to kind of commemorate like a full week shutdown or something. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely some uh, funky outfits in the mix here. All right, let's take it with the protective top one anyway. It's actually really smart. <laughs> well, I mean, it worked to a degree, right? Yeah. It kept her slightly better stuff safe. The prints and patterns on that. I don't think I dug this far for it. Are you still all right? Yeah. Okay. I just keep piling it on you. I, I put uh, some in the kitchen. Oh, did you? Okay. Okay. Work, Alex, work. There's a hockey game that people have to watch. Oof, that dust is just flying out of here. <laughs> I could turn the game on myself. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not much of a hockey guy myself. Do you, maybe do you want to go throw that in the kitchen? Because I'm going to hand you another big bundle here. Actually, I'll bring this out with me. I'll put myself to use. We're getting a little pile. Yeah. Actually, not so little. This is just out of a couple closets. Thank you. You're welcome. Gosh, look at the old hockey sheets. They don't even have helmets on. That's probably like from the 50s. Just old material. Cool. Oh, that's even older than him. That's more like, uh, yeah. it's old school. That looks like a 70s kind of t-shirt with that, the way they did the piping on there. Yeah. That looks like Napoleon Dynamite shirt. Vote for Pedro. <laughs> I could easily just put vote for Pedro on there and maybe somebody would. Let's see what brand is it. Penman's. Well, there's a shoe box and it still has the shoes in it. And they don't look like they really saw much use. I don't know what the market is on vintage shoes, but you hate to kind of leave that stuff behind when you're digging in a house like this, because how often do you find like 1970s shoes still in their boxes? So we'll probably try and grab a couple pairs of these, but this pile goes down oh, really far. 
There's even, uh, yeah, those are still wrapped up even. Ooh, sparkly. Um, there's like new nylons. Still in the plastic. Or just kind of ankle socks. Well, finding a few things. Okay, back down to the basement. Okay. So here. I apologize that near the deep freeze, there's a really bad odor coming from it now. Oh, is the body making its way out of the basement? Yeah, yeah, we still didn't get that out of there. Oh, yeah. I mean, but we've got a good lawyer, so. This, uh, <laughs> this coat was never worn. It still has the tag on the inside. It's like a men's kind of overcoat with a fit, faux fur collar. Yeah, it looks like uh, your mom was definitely into shopping for clothing at one point in time. She was this year's catalog shopper extraordinaire. I think that's where a lot of those flat cardboard boxes came from. You think somebody would buy that now? It's like a nighty Maybe. sort of thing. It, like a, it looks like the sort of thing they'd wear in I Dream of Jeannie when she's like, let me make you a coffee. <laughs> okay. Yes, master. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that show would fly nowadays. Yeah. That, was, yeah. that was great, yeah. Uh, okay. No power struggle at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, some jeans and stuff. But these might... Oh, yeah, there's the, there's the smell you're talking about. Yeah, it's, we poured a whole bunch of vinegar in there just recently, like tonight, so okay. hopefully it'll neutralize some of that. Um, it's coming out of the freezer, maybe? It's a deep freezer. <laughs> oh, yeah. That deep freeze smells like fresh vomit. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> no, that's all right. I shouldn't have like leaned over and taken a big whiff to see what the smell was. <laughs> I did the same thing when I came in. That's my like, that's my is fault. It really horrible. Yeah, it's, it's really it horrible. might be better just to close that thing up and. Uh, yeah. I I don't think airing it out is going to help because it's still full. You got like about six inches of barf water at the bottom. <laughs> I would just capsule. You want me to close the lid on that thing? Yes. Uh, um. Yeah. Well, we can close it for now, but then apparently, like, because we poured some vinegar in there. We've been told to, like, leave it open. Oh, you might have a barf explosion? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, okay, well, I'm going to temporarily sort onto the uh, <laughs> barf cooler. That's what I'm going to call it. Oh, my gosh. I shouldn't call it that because you might be, like, trying to advertise it for sale later. Mild odor. <laughs> Back, oh, there's the day with... Barf cooler? Thousands of us, man. <laughs> Our old one broke down. We did crack it with the vinegar. Yeah, GWGs. <laughs> Nothing like an ice-cold Pilsner. <laughs> yeah, no, that <laughs> that was so smelly, I, I can still taste it. Oduls oh, and there's Oduls. still live little bugs crawling around in these clothes. I'm just going to move that one over there. What I'm trying to do is just kind of get down to the... I should try and find you some barbecue tongs to go through some of these ones. I don't know. <laughs> well, I have a feeling before I sell any of this stuff, I'll have to wash a bunch of it. But, you know, the thing is, like... Somebody would probably still buy these old Levi 505s, even though they're not in perfect shape. So there are people who like wearing distressed, worn denim, our daughter being one of them. I automatically just think it's, about it. It's funny. Like when we went to New York, uh, we went to um, a thrift shop, yeah. probably one of the videos of our New York series. I don't, I don't know if I did a video in there, but it was all like 1990s clothing and I'm like this isn't vintage and then you realize how old you actually are and you're like oh yeah I guess that is vintage you can wash them all in your brand new ringer washer dryers oh <laughs> yeah I saw that last time that's like the type my dad had his hand put through the, through the ringer part the the amount of times that our mom got her fingers caught in that ridiculous oh. thing oh yeah and I bet you'd like hear no her emergency lever like or it's like that by the time you get it disengaged I think she'd have to reach for the plug and oh. unplug it. Like, yeah. It yeah, not great times. We okay. Like, use the new one. Like, no, we're, we're going to save the new one. So it's never used. That makes sense. Well, getting a bit of a pile here. Winter time. Well, here is the pile of stuff. So it's mainly clothing, as I thought it might be. A few board games and a few pairs of shoes. And I did grab the mid-century clock that was on the wall because... It's cool. Um, it's battery operated. I mean, obviously haven't tested it, but could probably put a new mechanism in if I need to. So now the trick is we have to come up with the price for all this. Okay, well, another load of stuff. You were saying you're worried that you got hantavirus from it? <laughs> from the mice? I'm worried that I got pantavirus. Wow. Waka waka, but we're all loaded up. So we'll go home and we will sort and see exactly what there is. Home now and sorting the pile of stuff. We've got this French kind of wool overcoat, 
the uh, nighty underneath this. It's like the Jerry Seinfeld pirate shirt that he wore on TV on that episode, if you guys remember. But uh, it is, in fact, a blouse, but uh, uh, that's kind of funny. It's got the whole puffy, piratey look. Um, and this I thought was neat. It's a jean jacket that has intentionally, the uh, sleeves are ripped on it. It says, Eddie lives on the front. It's got the symbol there and the big Iron Maiden patch on the back. Somebody who's reliving 1980s headbanger days is going to think this thing is super cool. Uh, it looks like it's right out of Stranger Things. I think that's pretty awesome. As for the little dirt bike, oh, doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm going to put some air in the tires, see if it holds air, and give it a little wash down and get some of the dirt off there and see how it looks after a good spray. Well, I have to say, even with just a quick rinse, this thing cleaned up pretty nicely. Um, now, one thing they said is that uh, they thought the engine might be stuck because they hadn't started in a long time. This will be my first time. I know you can't, you don't have to believe me that it's my first time trying to kick it. I'm not going to try and start it because it's got a little gas in it, but I am going to see if the engine's stuck for the first time here. Let's see. No, it's not stuck at all. In fact, that sounded like it had healthy compression. Yeah, we're good. So, battery, drain the gas, carb kit. I should have a running bike. Now, I doubt whether this is actually 12 original kilometers on it, but that is a very clean, normally these little dirt bikes get trashed, and this thing is in exceptional shape. Um, he thought that it might even still have the tool kit under here. Yeah, I can see it in the bag there, the tool kit's underneath here. How does that come off? Does that just unclip? There's the tool roll. That's a pretty minty little bike. And uh, for the 400 Canadian it cost me, or like 290 US, that'll be a fun little acreage bike for out here, for our rural property, and it looks like it's all there. So we'll wheel that back in, and then we'll get back to work on getting the rest of it cleaned up. Well, that's it, the motorcycle cleaned up. I have to wait for the carb kit to come in before we can try and run it. Maybe I'll give you guys an update on a future video. But as for me right now, I have a literal mountain of vintage clothes and other sort of collectibles. I'm gonna sort this. We'll eventually do an auction sale. Um, probably not until August though. So it might be a little while before this one comes around. But um, my son came in and uh, Steven, and he wanted the uh, sort of jean jacket vest with the Iron Maiden patch on the back. <laughs> but I still do have the vintage, the uh, 80s Metallica coat. All this other stuff is gonna be going through. So some really good finds, I'm happy. Um, as for me, I'm off again tomorrow on another pick, another adventure. So stay tuned for more of all this craziness. And of course, if you watch the channel and you see something you like, you will have a shot at buying. Most of the stuff goes through auction sale. The occasional thing I'll hang on to for myself, but very rarely. Uh, but guys, subscribe for more episodes. We'll see you all soon. And as always, bye for now.